What's going on with you ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike from down here at Dynamics Music. Uh, and I wanna throw something at you absolutely amazing. Well, everything that I throw at you, I think is absolutely amazing. But I want to throw this at you guys. Uh, I wanna, we're gonna talk about a little bit the loopback plugin. And what is the loopback plugin? It's a plugin that basically allows you to be able to do live looping uh, on the fly, being able to set up basically a layer of loops, uh, basically creating your own stem track or backing track for yourself live and in person without you know any anybody else you can do it all yourself so let me jump in and show you how this works i'm gonna do a loop here really quick and show you how this can be done and how this be done uh, i want to set up a scenario let's say that you know this is a church altar call uh, because this is situations where i've used it before uh it's a church altar call the pastor says hey y'all guys come on down to the altar uh and i'm gonna pray for you guys or whatever the case may be whatever the you know scenario or whatever and so i decide as the musician i'm going to create something live and fluid uh, i'm just going to create a loop and i'm going to play i'm going to orchestrate something on the fly with what i hear in my head so what i do is i go here and i start my click track And I'm already on my string patch and I've worked out something that I want to do like. So what I do is reach over here and hit record. So as you see, it starts looping. While it's looping, I go over here to my lead sound and work out something that I wanna do there. Okay, and then I hit record. messed up but that's fine you know I'll keep it going and so from there I go to my EP and I use this and play on top of it So you kind of get the picture. That's how you can kind of set up and be able to pre play and create your own. Uh, maybe you got a string part in your head and you qu can't quite play it uh, the way you hear it in your head and be able to keep going with what you got. You could use loop back to play that string part or that brass part or lead part and do it all live on the fly uh, and keep things going uh, with, your, uh, with everything else that you got going on. So let me show you how I set that up. Uh, it's not that hard. It's not that uh, hard to set up things. So first what I did was, let me close out loop back for a second. I went up here to the concert level, what we call the concert level in main stage uh, in the patch list. Uh, and I created an aux channel by hitting the plus and went to auxiliary uh, and created an aux channel uh, here. And then I went down to audio effects and I added a plugin in, in the, from the delay section called loopback, all right? Loopback popped up, it opened up. What I did was uh, I set uh, by default length by double clicking here. Uh, well, let me clear this out. Uh, by default, I clicked here and I set that I wanted to do an eight bar loop. So it's already set up and ready to go. And you can set that for as long as you want. You can do a hundred bars if you want. Uh, you can do, you know, whatever you want to do, you know, how many ever uh, measures you want for it to record before it starts back over. You can uh, set that. 
So after that, I went and created a set by hitting the gear here and going to new set. And I called it auto call for all intents and purposes or what have you. Uh, and on this set level, what I did was I created a, uh, another instrument channel. Uh, just by pressing the plus again, I created an instrument channel this time. But on this channel, I put uh, as the input the playback plugin just by going here down to playback and adding it in. And on this playback plugin, that's where I loaded my drum track or click track as we call it. Um, and I took note of what the tempo was. The tempo is 102.9, so that's pretty much rounded off to 103 BPM. Uh, and I, what I did was from there on this set level, I changed, I clicked this, check this box and click change tempo to 103, all right? So that way, because when you're working with loops and you're working with anything, anything time-based, tempo and BPM is very important, very, very important. You can use loopback to kind of record some things on the fly um, without tempo, but it may not work out as best for you if you're doing it without uh, a BPM, you know, not, you're doing it un BPM conscious. That's why I didn't use the metronome. I used a drum track or a click track and I played to that, made sure everything was synced up before I put it in. All right, and under this set, I created patches just by hitting the plus. I created three patches with the sounds that I knew that I was gonna use. Uh, put the strings on one patch uh, and I put the lead on another patch and I put the EP that I was just gonna kind of play along with. Uh, the track after I finished recording it on a third patch, all right? On this first patch, what I did was, because this is where everything kind of comes together, uh, I created an aux send from uh, the send section uh, on my um, on my strings, which are the strings from the MK Sensation. I took those and I created an aux bus, and then I, uh, which then put the loopback channel here inside of the channel strip area. And then what I did was is sent uh, some of the audio from over in this channel to the loopback plugin. So loopback hears it and records it as it's coming from this channel all live and um, in you know time or what have you. And then I went down here to the lead section and I did the exact same thing. Just set the set set it all up the same way with my lead and ran the bus over to loopback. And then I didn't do anything here on this one because that's the track that I'm going to use or the patch that I'm going to use to play with, um, to play, you know, with the track or what have you. So that is just how you set it up. It's nothing really uh, complicated. Another thing that I did was uh, I put a button here that actually controls the record uh, and the stop inside of uh, loopback. Uh, so that way that I can map it to a controller uh, that uh, map it to my controller or map it to a button on my keyboard uh, wherever I'm at to be able to just hit record uh, on that button on the fly and be able to record something in loop back uh, just totally you know going so those are just some different tips the ways to do it so you know how we do hope this video blessed you uh, you know how we do just Facebook this video, tweet this video uh, share this video on all the social media outlets and um, holler at your boy